Led by BJJ pioneer Leo Vieira, Checkmat HQ is where top athletes like Bushesha come to sharpen their skills. Today, I'm fortunate to join another top BJJ heavyweight on the mat, Luis Panza. First start, I was 17 years old, and, and I, I, I wanted to be an MMA fighter. I, I got myself into an MMA gym, and I tried to be among all the fighters. And I was, I was that kind of chubby boy with a lot of courage. And I went through a fight in the street. And then I got myself in trouble. And then my mom didn't uh, allow me to keep fighting MMA. And then I could only train Jiu Jitsu. Then I started training and then I fell in love with Jiu Jitsu. Then I couldn't stop anymore. I've been working in my top game. I, I think I got something good to show if I, if I got the opportunity to be on top. But I always try to, to submit from the bottom. I'm always trying to find a submission as quick as I can. But basically my game is more on bottom. My favorite training partner, believe it or not, is Bushesha. Because the best way to learn is being smashed. That, that training partner that is gonna push you into your limit. Because even, though, even knowing that you're gonna lose the role, because of course he's better than me. And I can put him I can put in my mind that that day is not gonna be like that. And every day then is the same, but I can put into my mind that I will do my best and try try my best every day. He makes me push myself beyond the limit. And that's the way I like to work. Because I got in my mind that I'm I'm not a phenomenon. Um, I'm not the biggest talent, but I've been always working as hard as I can. Download all the latest instructionals from the best and brightest in the sport. The Budo Videos app, now available for free in the App Store. My name is Sammy Chantre, and I'm gonna show you guys a leg lasso. It's a guard that I've been doing for a long time. So many years practicing this guard, I've been developing many different positions from there and many different variations from the lasso. After my broken leg, I spent a, a year without competing. And then I went back to the tournaments. It was a Pan American. And I, I've been going through a big struggle, probably the biggest struggle in my life. Uh, and every single step that I've been through, uh, my focus was totally in get back stronger than ever. I knew that deep inside of me that even like, it was the worst thing I have, I have ever been going through. And I knew that if I kept focused, I was gonna go and do my best and then I could win my division. And for me, it's the, the best memory I have. I had a dream, because back in the day in Brazil, I, I was working in the bank and studying a lot, but the dream of my life was gonna be just leave to be a, to be a fighter to live as an athlete. And even though it's not easy, I love what I do so I can live happy every day, even through the struggles, even through anything. Just teaching, because I teach from my heart. Uh, every single student, uh, that they know me and they know that what I do is what I love. And no struggle can get me down, you know?